Good morning, world. It's Jimmy Heisman Jr. Enjoying a crisp Rochester spring morning. Um, was up all night long, literally all night long, finishing research on the history of Highsmith, my name. Um, I've been furloughed since August of last year. <laughs> and other than gaining 25 pounds, which I'm going to lose here real soon on my bicycle, I have completed my 11th album, which will be out this summer. And I have spent time really trying to learn the history of Highsmith. My brilliant cousin, Dr. Staten Biddle, did a wonderful genealogy, a family tree on my mother's side of the family, going back to the early 1700s. Unfortunately, no one on my Highsmith side did the same. So with the help of Ancestry.com, some cousins I met through Ancestry.com, uh, Wikipedia, Library of Congress, um, County Records, all sorts of search engines on, on, uh, on, uh, online, I've been able to piece together the history of my family name. So, here it goes. My name is James Earl Highsmith Jr. My father was James Earl Highsmith. His mother was Minnie Highsmith. Her parents were Pearlie Highsmith and Lena Welds. Pearlie's mother's name was Frances Highsmith. She was born in 1875 during Reconstruction. Her father was named John L. Highsmith, born in slavery. He is my third great-grandfather, born in 1840 in Sampson County. He was owned by a white man named Lewis Highsmith, a tobacco farmer, had a tobacco plantation. It's called the Lewis Highsmith Farm. And interestingly enough, now it's a historical location, if you look it up online. And I will be taking a visit there in the near future once we get past COVID. I'd like to see it, actually. Uh, but yes, Lewis Highsmith owned several slaves, one of which was my third great-grandfather, John L. Highsmith. Now, Lewis, a white man, his father's name was Isaac Highsmith. Lewis was born in 1801. His father was born in the late 1700s. Isaac Highsmith's father was Daniel Highsmith Jr. Daniel's father's name was Daniel Highsmith Sr., and his father was Bartholomew Highsmith, born in 1664 in the Virginia colony in Fairfax. So, from my research, the name Highsmith goes back to 1664. That's when it appears in the United States, or at least in the colonies at that point, by a family of, you know, obviously European Scottish. I'm assuming his parents were immigrants from Europe and settled in Virginia, then moved to North Carolina because both Daniels, Daniel Sr. and Daniel Jr. were born in North Carolina along with Isaac and then Lewis, who owned my 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 great my third great grandfather. Um so tobacco farmers and to this day in research I found that they are still the Heisman's family are still major tobacco producers in Southeast North Carolina. So they've done very well for themselves through the tobacco industry. Um, how do I feel about that? I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm still processing everything. What I can say is I have pride in the fact that I am the offspring, the blood of John Highsmith, a man born into slavery who survived that hell. He was born in 1840. That meant that means he spent 23 years in slavery before slavery was abolished in 1860, 1863. But then he had to survive through Reconstruction and Jim Crow. And um, just the strength it had to take to deal with that is amazing to me. And so now, going forth in life, whenever I am faced with some obstacle of anything, I'm going to 
lean back on the memory of my third great grandfather, John Highsmith, that he survived this Holocaust. I too can survive anything I am faced with, any challenge I have in front of me, and take pride in that. You know, I'm going to share this information with my on YouTube so my great my grandkids and my great grandkids can know this as well. I'm thankful for Ancestry.com and the DNA because it allowed me to connect with a lot of family I didn't know I had in North Carolina. Uh, unfortunately, all my husband's family, my father's passed, all his uncles and aunts, my grandmother all have passed. So I've gone down there for funerals and seen grave sites and met people. But Ancestry really helped me connect with a lot of distant cousins to put things in order to understand the background of my family name. You know, yes, um, my third great-grandfather was a slave, but he was more than that. He was a, a strong black warrior who, who, who survived slavery and went on to start families, and we are the offspring of John Highsmith. So I thank him for his strength, for his integrity, for his perseverance to, to deal with that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's powerful to me, you know. I will never look at a cigarette the same way again. I don't smoke, but just the mere fact that I know that tobacco, the blood of my family, the blood of my family is in the production of tobacco used in cigarettes. And to this day, Highsmith's family, the white side, still, <laughs> still farms, still produces, still makes tobacco in southeast North Carolina. And the wealth they have is definitely on the backs and the blood of my ancestry. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And uh, be blessed. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.